Yeah, I would add to that. One of the things you see with Paul is Paul is able to contextualize the gospel in these different settings. So, for instance, if I'm, I'm seeing, okay, Black Lives Matter, I'm going to say I agree with the sentiment, but not the organization. Oftentimes in the church, we assume the shirt means all of this, but then we want nuance with a MAGA hat. So that's duplicity on the church's part. If you can separate a man from some of his policies and some of the stuff he said that isn't Christian, then we have to do the same thing here. So I want to say, okay, well, okay, yeah, here's why I can't support that organization, because here's what scripture says. Gender is not optional. Like, the, so here's what the scripture says. So, but I do agree with the sentiment because we're made in God's image, and that would include people of all races, all hues, regardless of your melanin count, right? So, so if, if we're doing that, then since black lives matter, they have to also matter in the womb. Because they matter, they have to matter in the womb. But I think we're not allowing room for nuance, and we come across Jesus was full of grace and truth. If you have grace without truth, you're liberal. If you have truth without grace, you're legalistic. He had both. So we need to bring grace and truth to this conversation and then I want to let them know, okay, okay, so you're woke. Okay, well, Ephesians 5.14 says, awake, O sleeper. The most important form of wokeness is being awakened to your sin and need for a savior. We can redeem these terms instead of demonizing them, because that's what Paul did. In Acts chapter 17, verse 28, he says, it's him we live and move and have our being, as some of your poets have said. We can't get our points from Fox News or MSNBC, but from the book. And what we see in the book is contextualizing the gospel to let people know God's standard. And so lastly, when I'm hearing all these things, I'm saying, okay, if, if I, I'm fine with the term woke. Again, I, I wanna, I'm going to tell you what it means for me based on the scripture. Well, if, if you're woke, then you have to know that Margaret Sanger's plan for me as a black man, she was a eugenicist. And she literally wanted the extinction of my people. So how could you be sleep to that? Right? So now I've engaged, I've entered into the conversation, and I'm saying, hey, if you, here, this is, these are uh, in hip-hop culture, they say facts. Well, facts, she didn't want us alive. She wanted to sterilize black women. So uh, we got to be able to engage and not just dismiss them because of a shirt, but try to see what, how is the world influencing you, because this is what Paul did, but then bring them back to the book. But if we're not engaging these worldviews, because we're dismissing them, there's no conversation.